The Ohio State men's basketball team looked to bounce back from a heartbreaking loss to Butler over the weekend. The Buckeyes came out hot, quickly securing a 10-point lead, led by forward Kieta Bates-Diop, who scored 10 points in just the first seven minutes of the game. That lead, however, dissipated quickly. Clemson took that momentum into the second half and eventually secured the lead with 11.08 remaining, eliminating the double-digit lead Ohio State had earlier in the game. The Scarlet and Gray couldn't recover and once again blew a double-digit lead, losing 79-65. to Head coach Chris Holtman said he thinks his team took a step backwards on Wednesday night. I, don't, I, I didn't think we handled adversity very well and weren't as connected as we needed to be and let frustration get the best of us. And <clears throat> So I think we definitely took a step backwards when it comes to that today. Um, it's something we're going to have to get better at. Um, we have to respond better to runs, and, and uh, we're gonna have to, I'm going to have to continue to coach that better. Yeah, it, was, it was pretty good 20 minutes when we got to stay that for 40. You, know, it's, you can go on your runs or mill how, however long they are, but you have to play hard and, and mentally tough for 40 minutes against good teams at this level. I'm not very good at being patient. I'm not certainly not good at, um, you know, handling this kind of stuff. So I think... Our players probably need to see me, in a way, handle that, handle that better. The Buckeyes head to Madison to take on Wisconsin on Saturday.